Hey everyone, this is Paula from Orthoway Valve Pal. With me I have Paula, and Paula has a severe amount of radicular pain going down into the arm. I thought I would just demonstrate a few things that kind of give us an idea of what her issue is. So a couple months ago, I started to develop some pain going down into the shoulder blade, some pain into the front of the shoulder, discomfort going down to the arm, a little loss of sensation over the back of the middle finger. I've uh, noticed uh, a little bit of pushing weakness uh, along with that. Also having significant difficulty sleeping at night, getting her neck into the right position. Does get a little relief with a Bacote sign where we take a little neural tension off. Um, so that is one sign that she may have nerve root compression. Uh, the next thing that we did is we tested her strength. So I want to, I'm not going to go through a full strength testing. Everything is normal except for this one. So give me some resistance to her triceps and I can collapse her pretty easily there where she's fine on the other side. So triceps would be C7. She has a little loss of sensation over the dorsum of the middle finger, C7 also. She has a very positive Spurling's test. If I take her and extend her and rotate her, I don't even need to get very far. And this sends pain down the arm and into the scapula. A little, um, one thing that I was also concerned about is her reflexes. So I'm going to do a C7 reflex on this side. And typically we would expect a loss of reflex um, at uh, the triceps C7, but notice she flexed. So we have an inverted reflex situation here, an inverted triceps reflex. So with that being said, I continued on to check the rest of her reflexes. C5, and we're very, very brisk. So that would be considered three plus. If she continued with some clonus, then it would be four plus. C6 is very brisk also. So with that being said, I also checked this side to find that she's quite brisk here too. I'm probably gonna be in the way of the camera here. So C5, relax that arm right there. Very brisk here, very brisk here also. Now, I tested her Hoffman's, okay? Another sign of, I have to be somewhat suspicious that there's some sort of upper motor neuron issue going on here. So I take the middle finger, I give it a flick. We're gonna watch the uh, thumb and index finger here. You notice that they flex. They flex quite a bit more on this side, which you can't see, but that's okay. Actually, can we do this? It's important that we try to relax the arm. Notice the thumb and index finger really start to flex there. So with that being said, I checked her Babinski reflexes. Those were normal. She had no clonus at the wrists or at the ankles. So um, we have the possibility of a cervical myelopathy here going on also that could be giving her some spinal cord compression. But right now we're looking at a severe uh, C7 nerve root compression with significant foraminal stenosis causing the arm pain, the paresthesias, the loss of strength, um, and some of that uh, altered reflex. So uh, thank you, Paula, for demonstrating today. I know you're really sore, but uh, we've, uh, she's tried some conservative management. It's not working. She's uh, heading in for surgery to help decompress that C7 nerve root that is being uh, significantly uh, compressed. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.